Justin, today I did one of the hardest things I've ever done. What's that, Ricky? I waited all day to watch this goddamn trailer. And it, this tops uh, that one time I ate 30 White Castle burgers. Jesus Christ, are you serious? Yeah. I think I could do that. Most people could do that. It's not something special. I thought I could do it too, and then I got really sick around Burger 6. Well, yeah, and I'm sure it was terrible to be around yourself. You don't like, you like White Castle Burgers? That's not going any further about that. Yeah, Ricky. the Munsters Rob Zombie. I'm excited about this. I, this is probably the most excited I've been about a trailer reaction that we've done since we've had this channel. Ever since we started this channel, Ricky's been like, when's the Munsters coming out? When's the Munsters <laughs> coming out? And I'm like, dude, like it's the Munsters, which I do love the original... Uh, TV show The Monsters. Well, there's a lot of nostalgia there because my dad used to watch The Monsters all the time. He used to scare the shit out of me when I was a super kid. I was, I'm talking little, dude. I'm talking like I was like four or five and shit. And I would get, I would get freaked out by Eddie Munster, actually. Is this serious? I'm dead serious. That show's not scary. I like. Well, no, it's I not scary. Watching... But when you're four years old, oh. like Nightmare on Elm Street, shit, I would watch and stuff like that I'm when I was that like four too. or five years old. Yeah, no, Monsters is awesome. And I wonder if there's like an Adams Family versus Monsters thing because it's pretty similar. Like there's Star Wars versus Star Trek, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but I prefer the Monsters over the Adams Family. That's why I'm never excited about Adams Family stuff comes out. But when I hear hear this, I'm like, hell yeah! Now the guy directing it, we'll get to after the video or after the reaction. But well, don't put those on yet. I have a lot of questions. <clears throat> I know that Rob Zombie is a huge Monsters fan. He's said it on many occasions, and you can see it in some of his movies. I mean, he has a couple monster elements in House of Thousand Corpses actually actually the grandpa's upstairs watching the damn show so you know he's a monsters fan so you, I, I trust him to do it justice and do it right but at the same time he wrote the movie it could go either way dude it's very odd that he chose to do this movie which he did choose to do this movie it's not like anybody was like hey let's make a monsters movie and Rob Zombie's like I want to make no, a monster movie he was movie. trying to make this movie for a long time and concerning his style and his movies I just don't know if it's a good mashup but we'll see after we watch the trailer I do think he's gonna keep in the same vein as the original monsters i don't think he's gonna go dark with it or crazy with it his dialogue does scare me though but we shall see see i think that he's going to do it justice like i said because i think he dare not do that because he actually cares about this franchise but at the same time he would have to put a new twist on it i think for you know just to make it his own and it's the monsters would be interesting if they were a little dark. Like, all the comedy is there, but they also, like, actually murder people. That would be cool. Yeah, if you went a dark version, well, that would be cool. But I want to see a, a... I wanted to see pay homage to the original monsters. Because I did love that show. Like, watching Nick at night when I was a little kid and shit. Shit was awesome. All right, let's get into it, man. I'm excited Are you ready? about this. How long, is so How long is it? You've been so excited. It's only a minute long. Uh, I'm also excited to see who is producing this movie. Where is it? Is it going on a streaming platform? Is it going to the theaters? I have no idea. I haven't heard anything like that. But we shall see. You gotta move it on. <clears throat> Who could that be? This is like shot for shot, the actual intro to the show. Like every movement they're making, I think. I'm assuming that's going straight to Peacock. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Okay, so it was basically a shot for shot remake of the original intro. But there was Eddie Eddie Munster wasn't in it, and uh, I think her name was Marion or Lillian. One of the two. I don't remember. I'll say the guy they got to take over Fred Gwynn's Herman Monster is uh, scare me a bit. Yeah, and also when we were watching this, Sherry Moon Zombie was scaring me a little bit too. Well, she always scares me. I think she does good in The Devil's Rejects and House of a Thousand Corpses. She gets a little annoying at times there, but she was not that great. In the, I think she was the worst part of his Halloween movies. Uh, she was good in Lords of Salem. Yeah, I was not. I was expecting a little bit more from this because we didn't get what we were asking for. Is this going to be a darker tone? Is this going to be a lighter tone? Is this? It looks like they're gonna <clears throat> almost stay too close to the original. Yeah, yeah. No, I. This is giving me vibes that it's going to be a lot like the original. The color throws me off a little bit. Yeah, they, I wasn't... They look a little weird. I'm not used to seeing the color. I'm, I'm glad they didn't do black and white, but I, I'm a little... But when it, get, when it went color, I was like, okay, that's cool, but... Uh. Yeah, no, I kind of wish they would have kept it black and white, to be honest with you, because it does look a little bit more 
uh, like lame cartoonish than the original. Like the original, I understand it's a goofy comedy and all that. Like I said, I love the show. I watched it a lot. But this one, I don't know. It seems like he's trying to keep that same tone. This is a movie that feels like it's a TV show that I'm going to be watching here. Does that yeah. make sense? No, it makes it, it makes perfect sense. I mean, like I said, it was just, it was nothing but it, that was the epitome of a teaser trailer. That was the biggest tease I've ever seen. It was a shot for shot remake of the original intro, and then one uh, a one liner on sitting on a couch. I think Grandpa uh, Munster is going to be the shining star of this fucking movie. Probably. If you go back and look at the way that uh, Sherry Moon Zombie came out, look at her face up close. It did not look natural. I'm looking at her eyes and shit. She looks it just it looks weird. I'll show it right now as I'm talking, but it didn't look. I don't know if that's like the first thing they shot and they were a little nervous or something. But and Herman Munster when he came out, he looked came out looking like a goofball too. It seems like I, I could tell with the, the new guy playing Herman Munster is looking like he's like doing a like actually doing. He's trying to be Fred Gwynn. He's not doing his own take on the character. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to copy for it. Really comes off that way. The grandpa, yes, I do agree. From the small little glimpse that, that yeah. we can say, we're saying like this on such little best. information. Uh, Sherry Moon Zombie, give it, give her a take. I mean, it's his wife. He can do what the fuck he wants. Um, how do you feel about Rob Zombie movies, Ricky? I feel like I'm a closet Rob Zombie movie fan because I don't like to admit it, but I do. But I'm a huge. Before I was even into movies, I was a huge Rob Zombie fan, just in general with his music. So I, you yes. know, then I, when I was younger, I saw House of a Thousand Corpses, and I was like in love with that movie. Devil's Rejects came out. I'm like, I'm on board. There's a couple movies of his I haven't even seen, like that Salem Witch Lords, Lords, of, Salem. Lords of Salem. I haven't even it's seen. Probably that. the only one you haven't seen. Yeah, it is. Uh, but I do like his movies, and uh, more than a lot of people do, I think. I think he catches a lot of a grief for it. But I do agree with everyone when they say his writing and dialogue is the worst part about his uh, directing and movie making. I agree with that 100. percent But I'm kind of a Rob Zombie fan through and through. Yeah, I get excited every time he has a new project coming out. I think he's a fantastic visual director. I really do. But yeah, his dialogue is fucking cringeworthy. It works for the Devil's Rejects and the House of a Thousand Corpse. It works for the Firefly family. family. That's it. Yeah, it doesn't work for the Halloween movies and most of his other stuff too. But I'm always excited for some reason to see him come out. And it's not the first time you guys will hear this. If somebody else wrote Rob Zombie's movies and he directed them, that'd be a match made in heaven because I really do think that this dude has talent as a director and I love him as an artist of course that's why everybody loves him but yeah this right here I just don't know if him if he fits as much as he loves the monsters which I do believe he does if his style fits what that movie needs to be you know what I'm saying like I just don't based see on, it based on the teaser we've seen I'm having a little bit more faith in that being a reality than before I disagree. I, this felt like like a like I'm watching like a school stage play production. Like it I don't just... think it was meant to be anything else other than seeing the characters again. Yes, fair. Getting but that, I'm, that sight back. I'm sure that first shot is the title sequence of the original monsters, right? The opening credits of the original monsters. So that's probably not even in the. That's probably in the movie. I don't fucking. Or know, like what it's if... just a small little glimpse. You're right. I'm being a little bit too judgmental. Yeah, going like in... like that part where they, uh, they're sitting on the couch and the grandpa says, "What well, now? What do we do?" Like, what if in the movie that happens and then, like, a, a fucking tied-up chick comes running out of the back bedroom or something? I don't know why I want this, but I think I want the monsters to be murderers. No, 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 you can't do that. This is definitely... The thing, I just don't see a Rob Zombie movie geared towards kids. I just can't see it. Let's be honest. Like, as much as we love Rob Zombie and we, we, li we like most of his movies, he's been on the downslope for a while now. Lords of Salem wasn't... People didn't talk about that much, even though it's a pretty good movie. 31 starts off great, ends great, but the whole middle section, the majority of the movie sucks. And uh, Three from Hell, first half great, last half sucks. And nobody wants to give this guy money anymore, so this is a movie where I'm, I'm assuming they put a little bit of money in, more than he's probably used to. So if this fails horribly and this is a horrible movie, I don't know if we'll ever see Rob Zombie direct movies again. If you're new here and you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, give the video a like. It really helps us grow this channel, and that's basically our number one goal at this point. Also, we have another video right here. I don't know what the fuck video it is. It's pretty random. It's just best for viewers, so whatever you in, you're into, it's probably what's going to be. Yeah, hey, and if you guys, uh, let us know if you guys like this trailer yourselves. Uh, I don't know if this one's going to go over well. I don't count it as a trailer at all, but I get what you're saying, Justin. It's a teaser trailer. It's a form of a fucking trailer, you fucking idiot. Stop trying to fucking call me out just because you feel like a fucking idiot. <laughs>